Hey, welcome to World Entertainment, and we got some Harry Potter news. Yes, some interesting Harry Potter news. Namely, when we can expect the brand new series to come out, and exactly how long they plan for it to go. Yeah, we're going to have a look at this. So, Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Zaslav revealed some big news about the company's upcoming Harry Potter TV series. Mainly, the company is aiming to get the first season to audiences in 2026. During the company's fourth quarter 2023 earnings call, Zaslav stated, We've not been shy about our excitement around Harry Potter. The last film was made more than a dozen years ago, I was in London a few weeks ago with Casey and Channing and we spent some real time with JK and her team. Both sides are thrilled to be reigniting this franchise. Our conversations were great and we couldn't be more excited about what's ahead. He added, we can't wait to share a decade of new stories with fans around the world on Max. We're aiming for a debut in 2026. So what you're hearing there is first off, JK Rowling is involved, which is going to have the lunatic <laughs> branch of Twitter go bananas because we know how they all feel. You'll start hearing all the translates matter and all that crap and whatever. All simply because she said, women are women and she's not wrong but the release for season one they're hoping to have it out by 2026 which is quite a while away you know can't deny that but they wanted to go for a decade 10 years they want which one would assume they mean 10 seasons maybe not maybe it'd be five seasons or six seasons whatever spread over the years but they want this thing to go for a decade that's insane so the harry potter tv series was announced back in april of 2023 with a press release declaring max is thrilled to announce it has ordered an original harry potter scripted television series it was confirmed today during warner brothers discoveries unveiling of the max streaming service on the warner brother lot in los angeles the series will be a faithful adaptation of the beloved harry potter book series by author and executive producer jk rowling from warner brothers television the new max original series will be available on max in the us and globally once produced and um, the crazy thing about that part of that statement back in april of last year is that they flat out said it was ordered to series that means they're not doing a pilot episode and then having a look and going eh, we'll pass or eh. they flat out ordered a season a full season that's really interesting as well so furthermore the company added the stories from each of rowling's harry potter books will become a decade-long series produced with the same epic craft love and care the global franchise is known for the series will feature a new cast to lead a new generation of fandom full of the fantastic detail much loved characters and dramatic locations that harry potter fans have loved for over 25 years now, the worrying part there is, of course, they're saying a new generation of fandom. Because, of course, your mind immediately goes to, oh no, are they going to start race swapping crap? And all of a sudden, oh look, this character is gay that was never gay. And this character is now black that wasn't black and whatnot. Hopefully not. Especially if they're saying they're sticking uh, and going to be very dedicated to the actual books. Which they absolutely should do, but... It continues, and we even get uh, what J.K. Rowling herself said, which kind of reiterates that thing of they're sticking to the books, so they say anyway. But each season will be authentic to the original books 
and bring Harry Potter and these incredible adventures to new audiences around the world, while the original classic and beloved films will remain at, at the core of the franchise and available to watch globally. So again, you're hearing how they are very much wanting to stick to the source material. And then Rowling added her thoughts at the time, and she said, Max's commitment to preserving the integrity of my books is important to me, and I'm looking forward to being part of this new adaptation, which will allow for a degree of depth and detail only afforded by a long-form television series. So, they seem to be going really deep into the books, which I think a lot of people will uh, appreciate because that is one of the tiny complaints that people had with a few of the movies was like oh they left out this part of the story and you know this character or whatever you know it's tiny bits because you're constrained by the film uh, the time the run time I should say of the films and whatnot. and we know the lunatics are going to be calling for boycotts of this and everything else didn't work out for them with Hogwarts Legacy because it was the biggest selling game of the year <laughs> and it just blew people away expectations everything was beyond what they were expecting for that game and we think there's going to be a lot of interest in this series so they're aiming for 2026 to have the first season out doesn't give a clear indication of like what month and whatnot. Or you would assume probably in the fall. They normally kind of aim for those type of uh, time frames. But they want it to go for 10 years. That is crazy. So we're looking at a show that they want to get out in 2026. And end essentially in 2036. Jesus Christ. Uh, it sounds so far away because it is so far away but it's going to be one of them kind of before you know we'll, we'll blink and it'll be that time but there you go there's the harry potter update what we know so far uh it doesn't look like they're looking to bring any of the original cast back which probably isn't a good thing because we know half of them have gone all loopy as hell as well gone all i won't work with jk rowling yeah. i i won't work with the person who gave me my livelihood <laughs> it's crazy isn't it anyway with that i'll leave it there for this one so cheers and i'll catch you in the next one